once you've got your good genetics, right, you've, in, you've done your research, you've invested in that, to really optimize you know, that genetic expression of what you can get for oil production, you really need these four pillars in your soil, soil these four pillars of oil production. Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey Tambor, I'm the COO of Kind Roots, and we've been working with hemp growers and cultivators for the last five years, and uh, both new beginners and experienced growers who've been growing for three to four years under their belt, and last year in 2018 we grew with uh, 130 different growers that all increased on average their CBD levels by around 33%. And so in our experience growing you know, with hemp for oil, we, we've really found that it's, it's a really different endeavor than most agricultural endeavors, even growing hemp for fiber. You know, we're not growing for tomatoes or cucumbers here, which would be more the primary metabolism, the main growth of the plant. We're specifically growing a plant for oil production, for its secondary metabolites. It's a totally different metabolic pathway. And so it really requires a different approach. And in our five years in the industry, working with growers all over the country, what we've really found is that there is four pillars for oil production in the soil. And that when you get these four things dialed in, that at that point is when you really get that optimum expression of your genetics. So your genetics are really important. Make sure you have a really good source. Obviously, you need to make sure your irrigation, things are well dialed in. But when you have that, these four pillars in your soil are going to help get that optimum optimum genetic expression for what you can do in terms of your potency. And so what they are is the first pillar is having the right hemp specific high populations of beneficial microbes in your soil and having diversity in that. That's really important we found that for hemp having you know the right microbiology in your soil is as important even as your fertilization. So that's pillar number one, that's crucial. Pillar number two is gonna be making sure you've got the right amounts and forms of carbon in your soil to essentially farm your microbes. So you get the right kind of biological activity out of the microbes you're putting into your soil. Pillar number three is making sure you've got the right micro macronutrients at each developmental stage to make sure you really get the most of what you're trying to grow most oil out of what you're growing so you don't just get big healthy plants with lower oil and lastly the fourth pillar is making sure you've really got those broad spectrum trace minerals in your soil which we found to be really key to the complex metabolism of oil production so to go through those on the the first pillar making sure you've got the right high populations of hemp specific beneficial soil microbes this is so important really because of three modes of action. One, when, when you've got the right strains, all of these microbes are actually producing secondary metabolites, you know, different acids and enzymes that they naturally produce in their, in their life cycle metabolism in the soil. And the next piece that the microbiology is doing is it's when it totally inoculates all the surface area of your roots, it creates a really supportive biofilm and you get really healthy white roots, comprehensive root health. And we found that to be really important, especially as we're going into heterogeneous soils here. And lastly, these microbes, like we said earlier, are producing acids as part of their secondary metabolites that are actually helping to, to solubilize, to make the nutrients in the soil more available and to help chelate them so they're more able to be taken up by the plant itself. And so the plant has more building blocks to really produce more oil and better biomass. So when we get these three pieces dialed in, having that right hemp-specific microbiology is just crucial. Um, pillar two, when we look at, okay, if you have all these incredible biology and different microbes and diversity in your soil, you have to make sure that you don't just have enough organic matter for them to live on, but that you have it both in an immediately available form so they've got an immediate food source kickstart them into full action, so really humified carbon, really small particle size, and then also have carbon that's going to be more of a long-term food source and sort of provide a habitat in their soil for them so that you've got that sustainability of the microbes and high levels of biological activity so they can do what they're there to do and really support your hemp the way they're meant to and co-evolved in nature to do so. So that's why that second microbe farming, second pillar is so important. 
And then once we get into more of the, the nutrient fertility side with the third pillar, having those right micro macronutrients at each developmental stage, you know, we're, we're growing for oil, like we said here. And, and so we need to have fertility that's really geared towards that secondary metabolism of oil production. A lot of the nutrient recommendations that are even for hemp for fiber aren't actually dialed in for that. We're looking to have that highest oil to flour and flour to biomass ratios. And that's so much based on the right micro macronutrients at each stage. So if you get that off, let's say you have too much nitrogen at certain stages, you can get really big healthy plants but with smaller flour and less oil. And when we get it dialed in, you get these really robust plants with a lot of flour covered in trichomes and dripping in oil, which is really where your money is. It's where what we're growing to help people is. So that's what we really want to cultivate and gear that plant's energy uh, and production towards. And that's about having those right ratios and right fertility recommendations. And then lastly, the, that fourth pillar, having broad spectrum trace minerals is so important because when you look at hemp, it's not just that we're growing for secondary metabolites. It's got the most complex profile of secondary metabolites of maybe any plant on earth between all the different cannabinoids and terpenes that hemp is producing. And so because of that complexity, these trace minerals are so important because they function as enzyme keys and they actually function to help different parts of that metabolism to achieve that potential for oil production. When they're missing, when the soil's depleted in some of these, and these aren't even your major, these aren't even your micronutrients, these are even more trace than that. Then what happens is at that point, it limits that metabolic potential and you see lower oil levels or less yield. So having those, those broad spectrum trace minerals is super important as part of those four pillars to really optimize your genetics. And so, you know, when we really look at all four of those pillars, what we saw is, is there were a lot of growers who were missing maybe one piece or another and didn't have it dialed in as precisely as they could. So what we developed was the soil balance system to make sure you're covered and, and really precision dialed in on all four of these pillars. And that system consists of using the soil balance pro formulation, the microbials that really get you what you need there and make sure you've got and, we, and that includes the soil balance testing for soil, which is a really unique soil test, which I'll go over in a minute. And then also bi-weekly leaf tissue and sap analysis to get real precision nutrients. And then using those together to get really precision fertility recommendations that are customized to your soil, your plants, and really geared towards oil production. So when we look at the Soil Balance Pro formulation, you know, it's, it's so important to have the diversity. And we've got 62 different strains in our microbial so that they're all synergizing and supporting. We have 6.1 quadrillion, quadrillion CFUs per application per acre of soil balance. It would take over 28, 20 tons of, of a good aerobic compost or over 12 million gallons of good aerobic compost tea to get the same amount of microbes per the acre. So we do it very efficiently and it works very well therefore for large scale industrial use because it is a wettable powder, it works really well on that in, that, in that scale and system. So once you have those microbials really dialed in, then we move into our, our soil balance testing for your soil. And here's where we integrate a really unique approach of H2O and CO2 testing that's really cutting edge. So instead of a traditional malic 3 test, for example, that you might get at a department bag or university, that's gonna tell your overall nutrients in your soil, Ours is gonna show you what's actually immediately available to the plant, what plant available nutrients are there, and then what's in reserves. And this way we can be much more precise and we can know what the microbiology is going to be making available through the season so that we know what your plants will have and we can start more clearly on the fertility from there. And then we combine that with the bi-weekly leaf tissue and sap analysis. And what's so exciting there is that it allows us to have the actual uptake at each developmental stage of all your micro macronutrients. So we're able to have a clear picture at each stage, early veg, late veg, flower, different stages of flower, of what is an excess or deficiency before you even see symptoms. And so we can get things really dialed in before it impacts your your yield, your potency, 
plant health, deficiencies, leaf curl, anything like that. And with, what's really exciting is with the SAP analysis, we actually can do predictive testing. So we're not only showing you know, what is currently in excess of deficiency, but we'll actually predict two to three weeks out what is going to be in excess of deficiency so we can catch that in advance and make sure we avoid those pitfalls and really optimize things with the right ratios. And, and we use that and the soil testing combined to really address those second and third pillars and get dialed in these really precision fertility recommendations so that we know this is how much you're going to need of your macro micronutrients at each stage. Do you need more you know, humic acid or fulvic or something that's going to support that available carbon. What broad spectrum trace minerals do you need? We can catch things before they go excess or deficient. So we can be very precise to help optimize that oil to biomass ratio and help you get the best potential and potency out of the genetics that you've got. And so this is what we've synthesized and put together from you know, all of our years of experience growing hemp and, and also cannabis over the years and working with growers all over the country. And um, you know, we really appreciate the, the work you're doing. We, we feel that growing hemp right now is so important for so many environmental reasons and for the people who really need that and need the oil that you're producing. So thank you for doing that work. And uh, we really believe in supporting you in, in farming that soil in a way that's going to be regenerative and help, help restore the soil and, and support the environment. So thank you so much. I hope this was supportive and helpful for you. Uh, please reach out to us. We would love to have an opportunity to serve you and answer any questions and and help you really get the, the most out of the genetics you've invested in. So thank you so much. We we'll look forward to speaking with you soon.